When you have too many network devices like I, I mean someone I know does, it can be very difficult to remember all those IP addresses and you need to remember them to access those devices over the network. What's worse, if those devices don't support static IP configuration, then every time they reboot, they come up with a different address. That makes them almost impossible to find. Fortunately, there's a utility called DNS Mask that can solve both of these problems. DNS Mask will let you use DHCP on your devices, yet they'll come up with the same IP every time they reboot. It'll also let you name your devices so that you can access them by name and not have to remember those IP addresses anymore. This video assumes you have Raspbian set up on your Raspberry Pi at a fixed address. If that's not the case, you can go to carpy.net, look for the article setting up a headless Raspbian server with a static IP and follow the instructions there. Or you can click the link in the top right to go there and set up your Pi. If you follow the instructions in the IP setup video, your Pi will be at 192.168.05. For this video, we want it to be at 192.168.0.2. I'm gonna go ahead and change that on my Pi. We're gonna edit etsydhcpcd.conf go to the bottom change my address to 2 and give it a quick reboot so after the reboot we should be able to get to the pi at dot 2 There we go. So the first step is installing DNS mask. Do that in the standard mechanism. Okay, once that's installed, we just need to configure it. So we're gonna create a new file in Etsy, DNS mask.d. We'll just call it home.dns. First, we'll put in some general configuration. These two lines allow us to use made up names on our network. And by made up, I just mean we can name our devices anything that we want. The names do not have to be names that are resolvable on the real internet. This is just gonna be resolved by our DNS server on our local network. This line specifies the addresses that our DHCP server is going to hand out. We're telling it that we want to start at 192.168.0.10. Static means we're going to hand out static reservations. This just means that we'll put in a MAC address for a particular device and it'll always get the same IP even though it's using DHCP. And then the 48H is the lease time, so we're going to lease out these addresses for 48 hours. This line says set DHCP option 3 to 192.168.0.1. That's the gateway option. So anybody who gets an address from the server will set, automatically set their default gateway to 192.168.0.1, which is the address of our router. With that out of the way, we're ready to set up some static IPs. The first address you should probably set is the IP of the computer that you're on. In my case, it's the doctor. So the DHCP server is going to set an address based on a MAC address. This means that anytime that a device connects with a specific MAC address, the DHCP server will always give it the same IP address. So how do you get that? Well, there's a couple of ways. Um, the first way, since I'm looking for the address of the computer that I'm on, I can run ifconfig. Now I ran ifconfig on a particular 
interface because I have a lot of interfaces and I didn't want to confuse the matter but you can just run ifconfig and it'll show you all your interfaces okay so we can see my MAC address on this computer is this number so I'm just going to copy that paste that in here okay so we're going to say DHCP host equals the MAC address. We're going to give it a name, the doctor, and a specified IP address, 192.168.0.10. Say. Okay, I'm going to write that file and quit. So now we have DNS mask configured. Um, before we move on though, we've DNS mask is going to serve as our DHCP server and more than likely your router is already providing the DHCP service. So we're going to make sure that we disable that in the router because we don't want to have conflicting DHCP servers on the network. Unfortunately, this may look different for different people. It's hard to tell you specific instructions for disabling DHCP. You're, you're just going to have to go to your router's web configuration and kind of poke around until you find the option. I'll go ahead and show you how to do it on mine. On mine. I have a DHCP server setting, and I'll just say disable. Okay, now I have that turned off. I can now restart DNS mask on my Pi, and that'll start taking over the role of DHCP. Let's see if that worked. just cycling my Ethernet interface hey there we go see if we can still see our pie okay oh I switched my network and it looks like I lost connection to the pie so I'm just gonna recreate that There we go. We can look and see what happened on the Pi during that operation by running cat var log syslog and we'll grep for DHCP. You can see DHCP coming up. You can see there was a discover sent in for the address for our computer. The server gave it an offer of .10 computer sent back the request for dot 10 and then the DHCP server acted and said okay you are dot 10 and your name is the doctor okay so now we can ping the doctor and we're actually pinging our computer so let's recap what we just did we put an entry in our configuration file that had the MAC address of the computer that we're on we gave it a name and we gave it an IP so you can do that for all your devices but it gets a little weird because for a lot of devices it's very difficult to find what their MAC address is up front generally you can do it but it's kind of a pain so what would be an easier way well fortunately there is an easier way if we tell dash f the var log syslog and grep for DHCP kind of like we did before oops let me get that right okay and then we try to add a new device to the network let's see what happens so I'm gonna add 
a cell phone. I'm just telling the cell phone to get an address. And you can see here that it, as it requests an address, we get the MAC address of the phone. And the DHCP server says there's no address available for that. So I'm just going to copy this address. I'm going to open up a new tab and secure shell into the pie. edit my configuration I'm just going to add another entry for that MAC address that we now know pick an address for it I'm going to save that I'm going to restart the service switch back over. I'll probably have to tell my phone to try to connect again. Let me do that. Hey, there we go. So you can see we requested again and then we got the 192.168.0.23 address for this Mac and our name is Sonic Screwdriver. So from our PC we can now ping the Sonic Screwdriver. Hey, there we go. So for fun, let's add one more device just so you can see how this works. So let me add in a laptop. So there we see the laptop requesting an address at this Mac. I'm just going to copy that. It's the same deal. Edit the config file. Put in an entry. Give it a name and an address. I just pick these addresses. All you have to do is make sure they don't conflict and you're okay. Restart the service. Get my laptop to request again. And there you see the request. And the DHCP server handed out dot .22 and called it TARDIS. Again, we should be able to ping that. And there it is. So now we have DNS masks set up. We can add devices to our network at will. They will have a fixed address. They'll have a name that we can easily remember. And that's all there is to it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.